cost-effective, user-friendly, Medcentrix healthcare services. Today, the CPG G003 monitors provided through Medcentrix services and technical support create the solution for that occasionally symptomatic patient where 24-hour halters are impractical and costly. The answer? A patient demand cardiac memory loop ECG recorder. Medcentrix has provided patient-activated transtelephonic cardiac monitoring since the conception of the memory loop recorder. Pioneering the development of this life-saving system, Medcentrix has resolved the physician's concern regarding direct 24-hour staff support and financial investment because Medcentrix provides, at no cost, high-tech cardiac monitors, electrodes and batteries, 24-hour tech and medical staff, and full disclosure reports. Good to see you, Bob. Hi, Howard. How are you? Uh, why'd you come in today? Just not feeling very well. What's the matter? Um, just heart palpitations, a little lightheadedness, just out of sorts for the last few days. Does it occur any particular time of day? No, just, uh, you know, it's periodic. Time. Related to exercise or meals? No. Nothing at all? No. Taking any medicines at this point? Nothing. Nothing? No. Okay, nothing different has changed in your life? Not that I'm aware of, no. All right, let's take a look at you. I'll have you take your shirt off. Okay, great. The complaints of uh, palpitation, syncope, dizziness, and the practice of uh, general cardiology are very common. Uh, in the past, we, uh, uh, we had the Holter monitoring, which was uh, uh, very useful as a diagnostic device. Uh, it has some limitations. The limitation of the Holter uh, have to do with the fact that usually we acquire information for 24 hours. The majority of the patients do not have uh, symptoms which are frequent, uh, namely occurring every day. Okay, your blood pressure is normal, your usual level, Bob. I'm going to examine your heart now, just a moment. You're not feeling them at the moment? No. Tell me if you do. Okay. Okay, you don't have any sensation in the chest? No, no. Bob, how often have you experienced these? Um, well, it happened about a month ago and then a couple times since then, but just enough that it's repeated itself enough I'm concerned. So that's why I wanted to come in and say you. All right, and it lasts how long? Not long, a few minutes, maybe 10 minutes. No pain? No pain. All right, and it doesn't occur every day? It doesn't occur every day, no. All right, not taking any medicines? Nothing. Okay. I'm concerned about these episodes. They're worrying you, and they are concerning to me. And I want to find out what it is. What I'm going to do is prescribe a event monitor to you that you can wear until we capture two or three of these episodes and see whether they're cardiovascular episodes or what they are. The use of a Holter monitor is for events within a 24-hour period, most of them being silent. The indications are somewhat different. With an event monitor, uh, you're looking for answers specifically to a patient's complaints, not silent events. The CPT G003 utilizes a new technique of ECG memory loop recording to capture the data preceding the symptom. The monitor is continuously recording. Only when a symptom occurs and the recorder is activated does it store the data. The physician may set the protocols. For example, the physician may choose to record one minute of the preceding data and one minute after the activation for a total of two minutes before and after. You can take this device with you. We can't do it in the office here because you're not having any episodes right now. Right. But I'm concerned and you need to be too. Do I have to wear this 24 hours a day? Yes, you do. How does it affect my lifestyle? Does it, uh, I take it off when I shower or what do I have to do? How does it work? It, it really shouldn't bother you. You take it off when you shower. You can't swim with it, but you can do anything else. You can play tennis, you can play golf, you can work. It's inconspicuous. And you see the size of it. Right. And it's not that heavy. All right. All right.
with an event um, recorder, clean the, skin off so we the patient can replace the battery himself. It's a 9-volt simple battery. Additionally, there are extra leads available. The leads are not put in an area of discomfort. You normally don't have to shave the patient. It doesn't fall. One lead doesn't fall directly under the uh, uh, brassiere uh, cup on a woman, and it's much easier for them to utilize. If the lead becomes loose, it can be reapplied, the monitor continues to function. Those are our three leads, and the red to the right, white to the left, and black on the bottom. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Not difficult, right? Right. Okay. Here's the unit. The battery is inserted in the back. Okay. Easily changed, 9 volt. And as you notice, it has a clip. It can be worn in a pocket or with a carrying case that you can put on your belt or shoulder. Okay. And this will jack into the unit, right? Mm-hmm. Now, this has a memory and it will freeze the event when you have an episode that you're feeling. We're going to get this cleared so it begins to record. Okay. Okay, which I'm going to do. And then we're going to show you how to record this when you want to capture an event. Okay. And how to transmit it transtelephonically. In viewing the Medcentrix monitoring units, they are much smaller than the Holter unit and certainly much lighter. The smallest unit is the size of a pocket pager. This unit is about the size of my hand. It has two buttons. It's relatively easy to use. The largest unit has large buttons. Each button is about the size of a finger pad. Extremely easy for the patient to use, especially if you can't see well. Most of my patients would use the largest unit. My patients are in ages, the, the majority of them are in the oh, 70 to 85 years of age bracket. Most of these people have difficulty with their hands and vision. The Medcentrix unit is transmitted telephonically by the patient, either routinely or with an event. Medcentrix, how can I help you? This is Trinidad. Hello, this is Robert, and I've just recorded an event, and I'm ready to transmit. Go ahead. I'm ready. What do I do? I just need you to press the record play button and put the mouthpiece of the telephone over the tiny hole in the recorder. Okay. Medcentrix recommends that the patient transmit the data after each event, though the recorder will store multiple events for later transmission to the Medcentrix lab. Sorry, Bob, great. I just need you to press clear memory for me, please, and press record play once again to reactivate your monitor. If you should experience any symptoms, go ahead and record it and give us a call anytime. Thank you. Have a good day. Within moments of the transmission, 24-hour analysis is available. If there's any threatening arrhythmia event, the physician and, in many instances, the patient is contacted immediately and in some instances the patient is instructed to seek immediate attention. Rollin, we received the transmission from Medcentrix on patient Robert. Would you make an appointment for him so we can discuss his problem? The physician engaging with Medcentrix does not incur any financial expenses. Medcentrix will provide the units to the physician at no cost. They provide the ongoing 24-hour team of individuals 
to interpret the reports and to get them back to the physician promptly. The physician can bill legitimately a codable item for the interpretation of the event recording. If the physician does not wish to be involved, the company will provide and bill for the final interpretation. My personal uh, wish is to uh, do the official reading in my office, bill appropriately, and uh, provide a service with my patient. Well. Information um, given to me still allows me to have a doctor-patient relationship. The future of it is that physicians will have to be educated about this device and the uh, uh, and the yield of the device and hopefully will uh, use it more. It is extremely uh, useful. The use of Holter monitoring, which has been traditional and we all used to use it, uh, again, I think it is important to understand that the Holter monitoring is a very useful device uh, in somebody who has uh, complaints on a daily basis, but the majority of the patients don't. And I believe that having an event recording uh, is the way of the future, and this is going to be utilized more and more in, in patients with uh, uh, intermittent symptoms. There is a definite financial return to the physician for using this recorder, just as there is with a Holter monitor or any other equipment that the physician is using in his office. Uh, under managed care, the advantage of an event recorder is to get to the heart of the matter quickly and cost effectively. If the patient comes in complaining of dizziness and sinking feelings, by applying this recording device, uh, which can be worn for 30 days, and very possibly getting an answer quickly as to whether it appears to be a neurologic problem or whether it appears to be a cardiac problem, will ne we'll negate the necessity of expensive testing and screening and get down to the meat of the matter cost effectively, less time for the physician, and hopefully a bonus at the end of the year for not overutilizing. Medcentric's cardiac monitoring CPT G003 memory loop monitors patient-activated electrocardiography available at the first reaction to symptoms of dizziness, chest pain, or palpitation. Media transmission information, six or seven reports in 30 days. Diagnostic results at time of need. Satisfied and happy patients means better health care. HICFA approved as cost-effective verified symptomology. Increased revenues without personal investment. For more information, call 800-201-3637.